Hi everyone, it is Crystal and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be spending some time outside on my front steps by my front door. It also could be called a front porch, but it needs a lot of help. So today I wanted to take you along as we clean some things up, change some things out, and get it ready for spring and summer season. Everything was just looking kind of dirty and just really wanted to brighten things up. So we're going to focus on that and see what we come up with. The first thing I wanted to do was just take everything off of our front steps. We had an extremely long winter, like really long and cold, snowy winter, so many blizzards I can't even count. And I really have not really cleaned it since then. I pulled out a few of my spring decor pieces, but that was about it. So definitely wanted to start with a clean slate today. So I'm just kind of taking everything off and cleaning it as I go. This, I believe you could call it a garden stool, but I use it as like a little side table. I just gave it a quick wipe down. I'm using the Mrs. Myers multi-surface cleaner, peony scent. You can use it inside and out. <laughs> so I'm um, just kind of wiping down everything. So I picked up that stool last year and I also picked up this lantern last year from Menards and I want to reuse them again this year. I'm not really sure what type of theme you could call what I have planned for the front steps. I really do like the farmhouse decor, but I'm doing like a colorful twist on it. So I'm not sure. You'll have to let me know what you would actually call this. I love having this storm door, the glass door. I'm not sure what you want to call it, but anyways, I do love having it. It is so nice to have our front door open and let some sunshine in. However, I can never keep it clean. Between our kids and the neighbor kids who come over and their mouths and hands and all of that, it just never stays clean. So I'm giving a good cleaning today with some Windex in hopes that it will stay this way for at least the afternoon. We'll see. So after I was done cleaning that, I wanted to sweep everything out. Like I said, I really haven't done much up here since uh, probably fall of last year when I put all of my fall decor away. So just kind of sweeping out all of the little corners and edges, leaves get kind of trapped in there. So sweeping it all out and then we can go ahead and get started with some new decor. I've actually been wanting to replace our chair that we had by the front door for years now. Basically since we moved here I've wanted to replace it but I hadn't really found anything that I loved. Well I actually found it at Walmart when I did my last shop with me video. I found this chair, really loved it and it just was a great price. So I went back and I picked it up. It is the, I want to say it's the Camrose Farmhouse chair or something like that. I will make sure to link it below but you cannot beat the price and the quality of this chair. So excited about that. I also was able to find a little cushion to go on the bottom of it. I felt like it just kind of added to the chair. I chose black. They had so many different colors. I want to say it was like $9 or something like that. I also loved that it came with the ties so I could attach it, tie it on so it can't blow away on me. So love that. I was almost considering doing a bench out here, but after kind of measuring what space we had available and what was out there for outdoor benches, I really couldn't find anything that fit the space and would look right. I didn't want it to look too crammed. The patio or the porch, I should say, it's just small. And so the more you put it on there, obviously the less space you have. So opted for the chair and I couldn't be happier. Okay, tying that cushion on took way too much time, so moving on. <laughs> um, I did pick up a couple of new things from Target. I wasn't specifically looking, but I walked by and this pillow I just thought was so beautiful. It's like a black and off-white or almost ivory color. It was in their outdoor section. I just loved the geometric print on it and it just fits the chair perfectly. So I did go ahead and pick up that pillow adding in the garden stool that I already had. And then also from Target, I picked up this blue lantern threshold brand, I believe. It doesn't really fit my farmhouse look 
I don't think. I mean, the blue color kind of threw me off a little bit, but I just absolutely love it. Our house is full of, it's all brown. It's 50 shades of brown outside of our house. So I feel like I just needed some color out here. So that's what we're going with. I'm going to be doing some farmhouse with some color. This rug I actually picked up from Hobby Lobby during the fall season. I did see they have like a red and a blue one out right now, um, but it's just, it works well to put under your actual doormat. Pick up this little plant stand. I don't know what you wanna call it, a riser, a plant riser from Hobby Lobby as well. It was in their spring collection, so it was 40% off. I thought it might add just a little extra farmhouse touch out there to my existing lantern to kind of spruce it up a little bit. Um, not quite sure. <laughs> I don't know. I can't decide if I like it or not. I do have another idea. I could use it inside my house if it doesn't work out outside. I also picked up this plant from Hobby Lobby. It's just a little bit too cold outside to be setting plants and flowers out there yet. Probably have a couple more weeks before I'll do that. So I wanted to at least add a plant. So I'm trying this faux plant out. It's, I love it. It's like a fiddle plant or fiddle leaf plant. I'm not sure what you wanna call it, but it is from Hobby Lobby. I was at a good stopping point outside. I was actually waiting for the UPS man to deliver my doormat I was going to be using. So I moved inside to clean the door. This wreath we've actually had now, it's been a year or two, but it's from the Hearth and Hand line. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's held up so well over the year that we've had it. And so I'm gonna keep that wreath up and just add this sign. I actually got this off of Amazon. I will also link this below. Just a really easy touch to add to your front door. I loved that sign. So I just hooked it on the wreath hanger that I already had and kind of tucked it in behind some of the greenery. The UPS man saved the day. I actually was not planning to replace our doormat, but I saw this one and fell in love with it and I couldn't beat the price. It was $7 on a major sale. Really just liked the colors that it had. It's definitely not farmhouse, but I just really liked the color. Like I said, the brown outside, it just really needed something. So I went ahead, brought it outside, placed it on the other rug I had out there, and it gave it a really nice layered look. After I put everything out, I just was not loving it. I just felt like it was missing something. So I decided to add one more piece. This crate was from Hobby Lobby in the spring collection. I see myself using this pretty much every season. I think it'll be fun to add like pumpkins in the fall, but for now we're thinking flowers. I'm not gonna get ahead of myself, even though I love fall. So I placed the crate out there and tried to figure out how I could decorate it. This took a lot of work. Um, really wanted to make the black lantern work, but I just decided it didn't fit very well over there. So I put the blue one in there instead. I actually decided not to use the black lantern in the front. I'm going to use it on my back deck, which needs lots of help, but here is how the finished look came together. I am extremely excited for warmer temperatures so I can get out here and put some flowers in some pots and really brighten it up more. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.